So we start with air floats in 10 seconds. Two, one, um, go. There's no rush. It's probably the first gymnastic thing you're doing in the morning. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So it's your first workout back in a few weeks or days, Scott? No, I've done a few, just not a, just uh, a couple of evening ones. Okay. Okay. Okay, and uh, swap to burpees. Nice steady pace burpees. Lovely. Okay, and last plank position, in and out. So feet out, fit in. Good, trying to keep hips as steady as possible. So it's, that's squat thrusts. Cool. Head. Okay. I mean, as a warm up, doesn't make a lot of difference, gonna be honest. It's just a bit harder to do squat thrust. And rest. Very good. That's a good warm up to start with. Now, do you have a foam roller or something like that, guys? No? Yes? Okay, so it's okay. Works the same. So, if you have a foam roller, what you do is rolling your lats. Okay, so what you want to target is this side here. Okay, slightly behind your arm. Okay, so not on the ribs, slightly behind your arm and you roll it up and down. Okay, so obviously putting your weight on it. And down, roll it. And if you don't, what you can do is from here, twist from one side, and try to go down with that. Okay, so that stretches this one here. Uh, for 60 seconds each side, whether you're choosing the foam rolling or the stretching option, gonna count, gonna time 60 seconds with this. Ready, and go. Okay, so up and down. Small movements with the foam roller. 
but constantly moving it. Can you twist a little more, Colleen? Can you reach a bit further? That's awesome. And now I'll push it low. Really good. Okay, swap position. Swap side. And start again. Chest down, come on. Good. 15 seconds. Rest. Rest, 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 rest. Very good. So the first part, <laughs> Actually, this is the last part of the warm up, but same thing. So, we're gonna need to use this light bar uh, stick. Okay, you got a stick, Scott? No? Have you got a towel? Yeah, I got a towel. So, snatch grip towel or stick, okay? So wide, we're not on a normal deadlift grip, really, really wide, like way outside your shoulders. Um, we're going to do seven snatch grip Roman, Romanian deadlifts, so RDLs. So from here, engage your posterior chain, okay, slide back on your knees, and you try to come down with your back as straight as possible, okay? It's not forbidden to bend your knees a little bit. Actually, it's encouraged just as little as possible, okay? And up all the way. Okay, so we do 10 reps of this. Nice and controlled. Very good, Scott. Very good, Scott. Well done. You should feel your hamstrings working or at least stretching. And all the way up, 10 reps. Perfect, Scott, well done. Good job, Colleen. Really good. Keep your shoulders retracted. Okay, so mm. shoulder base together. That's it, that's the one. Very good. Imagine that's a very heavy towel or stick, okay? If you, let, if you let it drag you forward, you won't lift it. Mm -hmm. Okay, once you've done your 10 reps, no rush, you need to finish it. We then build up to deadlift and high pull. So, from the front, me, okay, with my deadlift stance, so relatively narrow. I'm down, as soon as I'm away 
like let's say halfway through the thigh, pop, up here. Explosive movement, elbows are nice and high, okay, and then coming down for the next step. Coming up, pop, and down, okay. Make sure that our hips get to full extension. First part is just as slow as we did it before. The second part is explosive because we stand up so quickly that the bar comes up with us. But bar or any sort of instrument. Yep. 10 reps. And remember, we end with elbows higher than the barbell. Very good. Mm -hmm. Keep that posture and then explode. Really good. Try not to make it two movement. It's one movement, two speeds. Okay. Well done, Kuni. Good job. Okay. Up to your ten reps. You hopefully you're gonna count. You're counting it. Okay. Oh, good. There you go. The last one. Um, next part of the snatch movement. Once we finish this, we basically force the bar above our head. Okay, so this is called muscle snatch. Same thing. Down. <clears throat> okay, so probably with an empty bar or with the, with the, with the towel, okay, you could probably do it <clears throat> straight away. But try to imagine this is really heavy. Pop, and you need to press it above your head. Okay. That's more or less the real time speed. Around 10 reps. Mm -hmm. And make sure we end head through, okay, a solid position, ready to carry a really heavy weight above our shoulders, on our shoulders, sorry. Yes, good job. That's the one. Keep the bar really close. Don't forget that until you can, elbows are nice and high. Only at the end, you unfold your arms. Okay. Looks beautiful. Okay, last part. We combine it together and we make it explosive. We make it a snatch. The bar path, you know, okay, it goes here, and up, stays really close. That's why elbows are up, because otherwise you would have to turn your arms and have a lot of distance between you and the bar. So, I'm going up and unfold. This is the path of the bar. We now need to make it explosive. So now we try to add speed to this by 
deadlift, snatch. Okay, so slow motion, deadlift, jump, fall. Okay, let's see how we get on. Okay, yep. Imagine your arms are almost dead, okay? It's a he such a heavy weight that your arms are not able to cope with it. So you need to jump with the bar, use your legs, and fall under the bar spot, okay? So you wanna catch that bar under. Good, Colleen, well done, that's really good. Nice, that's it, that's it. Around 10 reps, I don't know if you're counting and it doesn't matter. Practice a few reps. Very good, very good. Yes, that, that's the waistcoat, well done. I think you can grab the bar a little bit wider, Colleen. Gonna be a bit easier to squat, yep. Yes, good guys, you're getting it. It's really good, getting there. Amazing. Okay, so this is our snatch practice. Sorted. We're now going to go into a six minutes EMOM. Now, um, do you have some weights for any sort of deadlift um, in the house? Probably the heaviest weight you could find. Okay, okay. So the emo is only six minutes and it goes like this. Every minute you've got to do isometric, well, you've got to do deadlifts, okay? So pose deadlifts. So you start from, from the bottom, coming up to mid shin. Sorry, to, to the knee. So start from mid shin, coming up to the knee, hold it here. Three seconds, three seconds here, and then stand up, okay, for three reps. So, I'm explaining it again, because it wasn't a great explanation, I'm moving. From the bottom position, coming up, one, two, three, then, power position, my knees are not straight, okay? one, two, three, then coming up and quickly into the next one. For three reps, okay? And I see one of those. Very good. That's it, Scott, like that. Okay. So what we're trying to do the difference between this is that we are leaning over the top of the bar, but as we come up, knees are coming forward and chest is coming behind the bar. Okay, so this is the swing you want to work on. Yes, there, never bending your back, really good. And up all the way, good. Uh-huh, and that's it, Scott. Well done, good job, guys, both of you. Lovely.
So we do three reps like this to practice this deadlifts sort of like um, a positioning through the, the range of motion. And in the remainder of the minute, you have to do, so kettlebell swings, dumbbell swings. Have you got any dumbbell or kettlebell, Colleen? Okay, so what you can do, if it's not too heavy, is some cleans. Okay, so just make sure that you use your hips during, oh, I know you could do. You could do hip thrusts from the ground. You know how to do it. You can put your, your shoulders on the couch. Okay, so you can have shoulders on the couch and use your hips like that. Yep. There you go, perfect. So it's a hip movement. And Scott, what you do with your two dumbbells, wide stance, okay, down, push away. Okay, exactly like two kettlebell swings. Yep, let them swing, don't control, okay. Pop. Very good, yep. So it's gonna be six minutes of constant from one exercise to another, from one exercise to another, and so on. But we're gonna do it, we're gonna manage. Six rounds, one minute. I'm just gonna put five seconds. Five seconds of transition time. Just to make sure that we've got it. Um, Let's go. 10 seconds. Ready for your deadlifts. Two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going, keep going. Uh-huh. And now your swings. Don't worry about the clock. I've got it here. Very good. Five seconds, then we reset for the deadlifts. Ten seconds actually, because that clock went crazy. So, deadlifts. Two, one, from here. To the knee, we stop three seconds. One, two, three, coming up. One, two, three, stand tall. And again, chin and up to the knee. One, two, three, mid thigh. One, two, three, and up. And again, down to the shins and left to the knee. One, two, three, mid thigh. One, two, three, coming up. Swings or hip thrusts. Get a few done. Really good. Okay, stand up. We've got three seconds to reset your deadlifts. And start. Straight back, Colleen, straight back. Yep, that's better. Into the next one, come on. Mm 
Okay, 20 seconds to do a few reps of the other one. You can maybe do three or four, then back up again. Okay, and deadlifts. I know it's only six minutes like this, come on. Let's start, straight back, straight back. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Very good. Mm hmm three reps, and then your swings or hip thrusts. Very good. Okay, stand up. Transition time, and deadlifts. This is the second last round. That's great. Quick transition into the next one. Come on. Swing, Scott, and push away quickly. Yep. No, it's really light for you, but pretend it isn't. Okay, last round. Let's start it. Straight back, Colleen, straight back. Yep. And up. So from shin to knee, pose at the knee, and then half thigh, yep, and all the way up. Really good. Oh, outside, stand up. And then fill your minute with some more extra reps because we're super strong. That is why. <laughs> well done. That's it, guys, for the first time. Well, for our first proper Mekon. What is happening next is the sweatier part. Okay. So every five minutes for 10 minutes, so two rounds, it's going to be, you've got to do every five minutes, two rounds of 10 burpees to a high target if you can, if you've got it, or over something. So, if you have a very high target, for example, here I have very high rings, well, what I would do is a burpee and the jump needs to be really high. Okay, that's what makes it hard. If you don't have something, well, within reach, obviously, it doesn't have to be a maximal jump all the time. Can you, can you reach that, Colleen? Yep, so that's perfect. So if the, the floor is not out of reach, that's perfect. 
as long as there's a, quite an effort jump that you do. So 10 burpees to the high target and 20 lateral speed skater hops. Okay, so down deep, deep into the leg, ready to rebound into the next one. Okay, quite big lateral displacement. Okay, but also think about height as well. Um, so two rounds of that every five minutes, which then become the opposite after the 10 minutes. So you basically work for 10 minutes. The first two chunks of five minutes, you do two rounds of 10 burpees to target and 20 lateral speed skaters. Then again for the next following five minutes, right into the following five minutes where you, you do the 20 speed skaters first and 10 burpees over an object, okay, not to target. And then again. Does that make sense? Okay, so you can obviously rest for the remainder of the five minutes once you've done the two rounds that you've got to do within that. So I'm gonna set the clock for four rounds of five minutes with no rest in between. Ready. Okay. Have you got high target, Scott? Eh. Okay. Well, as long as it's a decent jump that you need to do, and try to be quite straight with yourself, guys. So, touch. Okay. Ten seconds. In this five minutes, you need to do ten, two rounds. 10 burpees and 20 speed skaters. And go. To that high target, both hands, if possible. So it's an even jump. Very good, Colleen, that's great. That's an amazing jump you do all the time. Deep into that leg, Scott, come on. I know you maybe don't have loads of space there, but deep, really good. Don't smash your second round, come on, come on. Wonderful jumps, Colleen, honestly. Beautiful. Nice, you basically smashed it. So we rest, let's see if we need a two and a half minutes of rest or not, we can just go for the next round. But for now we rest, well done.
Well, is there anything I can do instead of speed skaters? Because my floor is really slippy, so I literally just like go flying. Uh, so instead of 20 speed skaters, I would say you can do 20 squat jumps. Okay, cool. You must still have plenty of time to recover. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it to be so fast. Okay, that's your second round starting. Let's see if you can beat your time for round one. Five, four, three, two, one. Ten burpees to a target, come on. Nice and fast, jump, jump, jump. Squat all the way, very good. That's lovely. Next one, come on, this is a sprint. You know you've got plenty of rest. Come on, finish it. Straight into your next one. Come on, Scott. Make sure your squat stays deep. Come on. Really good. Okay, so while you catch your breath, remember that the next round is going to be slightly different because you start on the non burpee exercise. Okay, so it depends which one you're doing. So the speed skaters or the um, squat jumps. And now the burpees are over an item. Okay, so a barbell, a dumbbell, a water bottle, I don't know, whatever you want but over something, okay? 
If it's a very, very, very flat object, you might want to just a little bit have a three-dimensional thing to jump over. Oh, nice. I like that one. Get Tyler to lie down, Colleen. Sorry? I said get Tyler to lie down. Jump over Tyler. Yeah, why not? When I do CrossFit, it's his alphabet writing. <laughs> God, I've not changed since Friday. I'm so feeling it. My God. Oh, so good. Do you, do you go like running or something, guys? Do you go like any other? I've got, I play cricket, I've got three games in three days. I've got another one today. Oh, three games of what? Cricket. Ah, so that's why you're so fit. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> you not just stand and coach though, Scott. That's, that's not exactly like exercise. Yeah, I do do that, but I've been playing as well. <laughs> yeah. Because we've got freedom down south, unlike you guys up there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, watch. COVID. Yeah. Ready, guys. Ten seconds. Oh. Five, four, two, one, go. Oh, squat down, squat down. Sink into that leg, Colleen. Come on. Bend when you land that set. See, that's brilliant. What? Steve, you can do it. Wonderful. Well done. And then burpees over whatever you chose to burpee over. Ten of those. Come on. Two foot jump. Try to keep your feet moving at the same time. On your second round. Come on, guys, get the second, that, that second round sorted and you rest. And we can talk about cricket and stuff. Good. Come on, two foot jump. Nice. Yes, well done, Scott. There you go. 
Got two full minutes to rest. Oops. Go, we've got to do only one more time and then you're free to go. So do your best, okay? As a series of little sprints, which can be just as hard as a long workout if done properly. Okay, time has come. Let's finish this. This is your last round, last task of the day. As fast as possible, okay, all out. Are you ready? Four, three, two, one, go. Very good speed skaters, Colleen, well done. Keep that deep. The depth, lovely. Come on, Scott. Down into full squat and a jump. Quick, 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 quick. Chest, feet, jump, and again. Chest, feet, jump. Yes. Come on, make it the fastest round. See if we can keep it under three minutes. Come on. Push, push, push. Don't give up until the very last rep. Ooh la la, well done, very well done guys, awesome, it's a brilliant job.